and welcome back to Adventure on the Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And today's video I wanted to talk about something that I've seen pop up on a few different forums and um, I've seen a few YouTube videos about it and I wanted to kind of address it as it says in the title talking about one-to-one -one time with children. Now of course from the point of view of me spending time with my children, I'm with them all day long. Um, like right, apart from right now when I'm up in my office, they are downstairs playing um, on the having some screen time or they're in their bedrooms, um, depending on which child it is. So I can hear them, but they are having alone time by themselves. And of course, having one-to-one -one time with me and with their dad is really important, but it looks different for us, I think, because we're home all the time. But I'm home all the time, I'm with them all the time, so I don't prioritise one-to-one -one time with them as much, but um, because they get all of, the, you know, they get one to three time all the time, and I think that's something that I've struggled with, being like, I'm with you all the time, and actually, the older that Charles has got, the more I've realised that actually having alone time with him is really, really important, because he is getting to the age where he's he's a big thinker, he always has been, and he's getting to the age where he really wants to, he's starting to have, um, I don't know, besides just be a bit more grown up, have more grown up thoughts, want to have more grown up conversations, he is starting to want to talk about puberty, he's wanting to talk about um, not relationships as such, he doesn't want to be in one obviously, he's very young still, but he's starting to think about he's noticed that other children who are a bit older than him have talked about relationships and he's starting to it's starting to be on his radar um that at some point in the future he may have um you know may have feelings that he hasn't had before so um it's really important for him to have time with both myself and philip and usually alone we don't usually do like two adults and one child we usually will spend alone time just one adult and one child just to kind of I think it's a bit more relaxed sometimes when it's just him and me or it's just Phil and him and um we started something called um a, probably before the first lockdown called Freedom Friday and it was called Freedom Friday um because Charles just called it that and he coined the phrase from the Lego movie where they say um Taco Tuesday will now be called Freedom Friday but still on a Tuesday. <laughs> so he got that, like the idea for the name from um, Wild Style and the Lego Movie saying that. And so he calls it Freedom Friday. And what he means is it's freedom from his little brother. It's freedom from his little sister. And it means that he can do whatever he likes. And usually that's playing a video game with Phil, or it might be watching a show with me. <laughs> so um, we, yeah, we've been, We've been enjoying that that time for a while now, just him and me or him and Phil, and then it gives the other adults some alone time, like once they've done bedtime, that they then have complete alone time by themselves. And on a Friday, I'll quite often have a bath, um, so have a nice big bubble bath where I'm in there for a while, and Phil will play video games with him, or Phil will have a bath, and um, again, a nice big bubble bath. <laughs> and, um, and I will spend time with Charles while we're watching a show or something like that. And then because when Bessie found out that we were doing Freedom Friday with Charles, she was like, hang on a minute. So now we also have Sister Saturday, which is the same thing. Phil and Bessie play together on video games or Bessie will do something with me. And it might be that um, I braid her hair or I paint her nails or we just watch a show. Um, Bessie is a really passionate baker. So we like watching things like Extreme Cake Baker and Bake Off and all that kind of stuff. So we will sit and watch that together. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's something that started there. And then before that, I had always had a lot of one-to-one -one time with Albert because I was breastfeeding him until November last year. So we often had that time that we, it was just the two of us and we were very close. And when um, he stopped, when we stopped breastfeeding and he was then at preschool, it was like, well, actually, on a, on a, before he was at preschool, sorry, we would have a Monday where it was just him and me. And I would spend the whole day with just him and, we really enjoyed that time together and then he started going to preschool and I missed him I was like oh I've got all this free time and that's great but I don't have my little buddy anymore so I made sure that I um, pick him up at either two o'clock and then we spend an hour and a half together just the two of us 
before we pick up Charles and Bessie or the last couple of weeks I've only picked them up half an hour before and we've just had that half an hour together and that's been really good because even though he's four and a half he still has a lot of things on his in his heart that he wants to share and it's good to be able to hear hear what they have to say hear what they're thinking about you know hear what's happened with their day and not be interrupted by his brother and sister um, and I think that he really enjoys that time um, I will have to think about something different soon because um, come January he will be at forest school all day with Charles and Bessie they'll all be there 10 till 3 30 so I won't have that time with him on his own on a Monday um, however I am thinking that I will take him somewhere on a Sunday morning just him and me. On a Sunday morning I always used to go and walk the dog with my grandmother and um, we used to walk around the local water meadows where we live um, and go to the duck pond so what I thought I might do is on a Sunday morning we will walk the dog uh, together just the two of us and then maybe go feed the ducks um, again just the two of us a time to kind of for him to share what's going on in his you know in his head and and um, for me to just, you know, enjoy him by himself. I think that's really important. So I did read something a little while ago that said as children get older, when until they're about the age of six, the six or seven, that you should spend 10 to 15 minutes a day with them on their own um, and just have that one-to-one -one time. And obviously if you've got more than one child, that can be really difficult. Or if you've got two children, and there's two of you putting them to bed, then, you know, you know, you've got to kind of juggle that. And if you're a single parent with with more than one child, then how on earth are you supposed to manage that? But I do think that um, I did kind of reframe it in my head. Well, what if you're putting them to bed by yourself and you're not putting them both to bed at the same time? What if you stagger that bedtime? You put the other one in front of a show while you put the other one to one of them to bed and then you can spend that bedtime one to one time. And even if you're just sit, sitting in a chair together or sitting on the bed together, reading a book, that's still your undivided attention. And I don't think it's, for me, it's less about having deep and meaningful conversations with them all of the time and more of creating that opportunity. So if they want to share their heart with you, that they can. Um, and so, you know, you can stop in the middle of reading the Garofalo and have a conversation that's deep and meaningful. Like it doesn't, it's, that's, that's the point is to create that space. So I think that that is a reasonable amount of time, but also don't beat yourself up if you're not doing that all the time. If you're like, you know what, this week I didn't give them any one-to-one -one time, I'm exhausted, I can't do it, then okay, that's fine. Like don't, don't beat yourself up about it. I think that as parents, we quite often, you know, go, oh, I'm not doing enough. And actually most of the time we're doing above and beyond and we're doing the amount that we should do. Um, and I think we just need to chill out about it. Um, and then it said for seven to 12 year olds, you should give them 30 minutes once a week of, so a lot longer time. And <laughs> do something that do something together rather than just sitting down and chatting like uh, or reading a book together like do something specific like play a board game or play video games or watch a film or whatever um or go out somewhere like just to have at least 30 minutes once a week where you spend that time with them and obviously that's for us that's freedom friday and sister saturday they get way more than half an hour of one-to-one -one time and sometimes they choose not to spend that with us sometimes bessie will stay up on a friday and charles will stay up on a saturday and they actually just spend that time together the two of them doing something where albert's not involved and um that's really nice for them as well um and then it said for 13 years and over you should spend several hours with them it said you know one to three and that you should do it at least once a month and that you should go and do something that the teenager wants to do um, and i think the older that the children get there'll definitely be um that will definitely be something that we will do because um i'm actually considering it with charles i did suggest to charles because he really wants to get better at swimming um and he said something to me recently, what did he want to do? He said something like, oh, um, oh, he said well, he wanted to try scuba diving in a swimming pool. Um, and he said, oh, I probably, I'm worried that the, I'm not strong enough swimmer, the tank would be too heavy and I wouldn't be able to, and I would like sink to the bottom. And I was like, well, we would make sure that you could stand up and that you would be okay. <laughs> like it would be fine. Um, but we, I do get him, he needs to make his swimming stronger. So what something I suggested to him was on a Friday evening, 
that instead of having screen time or playing a video game with Phil, that he would go once a week, once a fortnight, he would go swimming on a Friday evening with his dad, and then once a fortnight, he would go swimming on a Friday evening with me. A bit more exercise for me and Phil, because of course we're gonna be swimming with him. And then we can slowly build up his stamina. Um, and the swimming pool is a great place to just have a little chat. We'll go in the evenings, it'll be Friday evenings, it'll be quiet. And you know, we can really chat and spend some time together. I think that will be a really, really good idea. Um, and once he's a bit more confident swimming, we'll probably then start doing it with, um, with Betty. Excuse me, as well, or I may start doing baking with her on a Saturday evening, like, I will read the recipes for her and then she can do all of the things because as I said she really wants to get involved in baking. We could get some icing and we could follow like a, a tutorial on YouTube together or whatever. I think that encouraging her interest and doing it with her is something that would be really beneficial for her. Um, it, and then Albert, I think we, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe it's like, I think that dog walking thing will be the best for him but right now we'll keep the Monday and we just sit and read books together and maybe sometimes we paint um, and he likes to get nice and messy. So what do you like to do with your, um, for one-to-one -one time with your kids? Do you feel like you do enough? Do you feel like you don't do enough? Um, it, you know, it's show me, what do you guys do? What do you get up to? I'm not, I don't feel like I'm one of the channels that is going to be like, here's all these tips, this is what you should do, um, because I don't I don't like those kind of videos. I'm like, hey, don't you tell me how to parent my kids. Um, <laughs> that's how I feel about them. Um, but I do enjoy sharing what we do, and then if you can take tips from that, then that's great, but I'm not gonna be like, here are 10 tips for being a better parent or anything like that. That's not the kind of channel that um, I'm, I'm going to be. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is just a quick Wednesday video because I've been working really, really, really hard all day on preparing Friday's video, which is a partnership with a great company. I'm really um, pleased to share with you and share the, the uh, home educating bit that we're doing in it. So just a quick video today and talking about one-to-one -one time and hmm, I think it's time to, I think we have to book swimming ahead. So maybe I should do that for this Friday probably use a swim actually get my stamina going too so i will see you on friday if you like my content and you like my channel please like this video and subscribe every time you subscribe i do a happy dance like this for real candid and occasionally funny content please please subscribe and i will see you three times a week starting again on friday bye